Fortnite Season 4 is full of secrets, which I'm going to be sharing all of them with you guys in today's video. From secret mythic weapons, secret skins, and even a time machine room, you do not want to miss out on today's video, so let's get straight into it. But remember, if you guys do want this Season 4 Battle Pass for completely free, remember I do gift 5 subscribers every single day. To people who do, drop a like on the video, subscribe with all notifications turned on, and leave a comment with your epic ID name down below so I can add you guys. And remember, if you guys are picking it up for yourself, please consider popping in my support credit code, Apple One, as it does help out the channel absolute time. Starting off with some of the secret weapons we're going to be seeing this season. We're going to be getting a sticky grenade launcher seen in the gameplay trailer. This thing looks so, so cool, bro. And apparently, if you guys do play Horde Rush, you guys can actually use it early. So let me know in the comment section below if that is true, because this thing looks really cool. It sticks to anything and then blows up. So this is going to be perfect for campers or moving vehicles. We then have the Shield Breaker EMP. This has been seen in the trailer and looks extremely overpowered. I'm going to be honest, this thing looks very, very broken. It completely destroys all your shield and it will be coming out next week as there are quests in the files for it to be used next week so expect to see this in next week's hotfix which I'm extremely excited for but also very scared for because it looks very overpowered. We then have a toggle zoom DMR. This was also seen in the gameplay trailer. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it because the DMR is extremely broken and now we're getting a zoom version so yeah I already know this thing's going to be very OP. Before we get into the secret mythic weapon this season we will be getting a brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collab as in the files leakers have discovered a very big encrypted pack file which has a mysterious fungus ninja set and four guys have recently just got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collab which is owned by Epic Games and Fortnite have added the pizza party back to the files to be re-added this season which could be a teaser for this collab just like they added the lever action back for the Terminator collab last season but this pizza party item has had a huge buff it gives players more shield and no more HP so this is going to be pretty cool but it looks like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will be coming out of this season when this brand new pack file gets decrypted which i'm honestly very very excited for at the very start of the trailer you may have witnessed kato fawn come back from 2020 and he stole oro's skull but in game this location is nowhere to be seen and that's because it's behind this closed vault door inside of the eclipse estate vault in the files there are actual visual effects behind here and this device is also called tiny mango it's currently unfinished but we do have a battery so we do know it's going to be coming to the season starting next update we should start to see developments of it get built and built and built over the season for a huge live event at the end of this season. It's going to be pretty cool. But while you're walking through this vault, you may have actually noticed something interesting behind the glass. Yes, Midas's golden hand has also been stolen by Kato Fawn. So when he went to get Midas's drum gun, he also took Midas's hand. As anything Midas touches turns to gold. And in the fish fic loading screen, you guys can actually see he's trying to steal it out of one of the mythic boxes, which could mean that this Midas hand will be coming as a mythic item later this season which sounds pretty OP because whatever weapon it will touch it will turn it to a mythic weapon which sounds insane I can't lie this is going to be very very cool I imagine you can only use it once but either way it's going to be coming out very very soon and this also means Midas will be returning as well he is confirmed to play a role in this season possibly for the live event but also get his hands back which means we will be getting a new Midas skin and in the skin surveys there are currently two Midas skins that are yet to release we have this fish version which I think looks really cool but I doubt he's going to be coming this season and then we do have this digital Midas which is probably our best guess of what skin we're going to be getting later this season for Midas so make sure you guys are on the lookout for Midas coming back as well as a brand new Midas mythic weapon coming out later this season by the time he's here though we'll probably have the katanas back in the game in the cinematic trailer you guys could see Kato Fawn holding it when he comes back through the time machine but it actually does have a different design possibly exclusive to him which would be a mythic item later in the season for Fort Nightmares for him coming as a brand new vampire boss I'm very excited. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited because the kinetic blades mixed with the rocket ram, this season's going to be pretty amazing. A hidden secret in the trailer has everyone extremely excited for this season. If you guys were paying attention when the scene shows up of the diamond dealers looking at the security footage, you guys can actually see Bunker Jonesy in a prison cell doing a push up. So it looks like Jonesy's back in prison once again. He seems to be getting himself back there quite a lot recently. And with Dr. Sloan now returned to the island, she did say she needs to call on someone she used to trust and everyone assumed Jonesy so it looks like this storyline is about to get pretty insane with Bunker
Bunker Jonesy coming back to the island, Dr. Sloan now to the island, it's going to be amazing. The Getaway LTM is returning this season, which makes a load of sense for this season, as the original LTM came out with the wildcard skins, which actually had styles for each set of pack of cards. You guys can get spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds, and if you guys actually do take a look in the files, the diamond dealer also has these styles, which means when the updated LTM returns, the diamond dealer skin will be coming to the item shop, which I'm very excited for, because honestly, it looks insane, bro. It's probably one of the coolest skins we've had in a long time, and there's no coincidence it's got these new styles added with the LTM returning this season, but we actually do have some new leaks about some Fortnite Mare skins coming to the game as well. If you actually do talk to the Love Ranger NPC as Fish Sticks, he seems to be foreshadowing Fortnite Mare's 2023, as he mentions a spooky future for Fish Sticks himself, with a murky swamp or something within, and reft in flame. This is obviously talking about this like gloomy fish stick skin obviously it does go with this swamp theme and then we could also possibly be getting this like lava devil jonesy skin he looks nuts bro do these skins could be coming out for four nightmares which i think would be amazing bro the swamp fish stick skin is actually super loved by the community so i'm very excited for that to come back but with Fortnite adding the brand new Discover page, which you guys can see how many players are actually playing Fortnite at once, we just had a brand new Fortnite player peak of all time of 2.6 million players playing at once. It should be getting higher throughout the season. You guys can already tell this season's off to an amazing start, and I can't lie, it is a ton of fun. So if you guys haven't played yet, I highly recommend you do get on it, because I imagine the player count will just keep going up and up and up for this season. The brand new September crew pack actually got revealed yesterday, being Astria. This skin is nuts bro it honestly looks insane she comes with two styles she comes like with this pink and black style and then this orange and blue style but if you actually do look inside of the skin you guys can see the cube cradle this is no coincidence because the last reality are rumored to be coming back this season which i think would be absolutely insane for the storyline and she seems to look like quite an evil skin for the last reality so i'm excited to see what this skin does bring to the storyline and the last reality will be coming back but this skin will be available on friday coming with a bat blink her pickup both of the skins and this loading screen which looks insane bro this loading screen looks absolutely amazing so let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for this crew pack skin but in the trailer you actually may have seen the eclipse in the sky obviously that's not in the game yet but you guys can also see it in the crew pack loading screen which means it could actually start appearing in game next week when the next week's hotfix comes out and it looks like it will have stages which i'm very excited to see why they've added an eclipse in the game and what it means for the storyline i'm excited it is confirmed to be coming out as it has been seen in the trailer but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think it's for we have all of the bonus styles for this season as we know we get three pages of different styles for each skins which last seasons were so dead i didn't even unlock them all but with this season being very very similar to chapter 2 season 2 and the enlighter styles for that season were actually fully gold i imagine we'll be getting a golden page for the skin which i think would be so so sick i love the original gold skins and this season would be a perfect opportunity to add them back again starting off with a golden no and chance skin i think this skin looks pretty cool let me know in the comment section below if you guys do as well this is actually one of my favorite battle pass skins so i think it looks sick we then have a golden piper pay skin i've never used this skin yet so let me know in the comment section below if you guys have as well if you guys like the skin i'm not the biggest fan of it we then have fish thick which is easily one of the best skins in this battle pass and a golden version of him bro it looks insane i'm honestly super excited for this skin to come out we then have may the anime skin which i'm not gonna touch we then have antonia which is probably my favorite skin in this battle pass she looks so so sweaty and it's a really really cool skin and her in gold probably would be my favorite skin inside of this season we then have cabby lame which is an awesome skin and a golden cabby lame skin looks even better so make sure you guys are looking out for this and then finally we have a golden kado fawn skin which honestly looks really really nice let me know in the comments if you guys would use any of these i'm not quite sure if they'll actually add a golden secret skin but here's a golden ahsoka skin if you guys wanted to see what that looks like but did you know the swole sailor glider in this season's battle pass actually has a secret anime for you guys if you guys actually do use the glider your character will start doing pull-ups on the bar as this glider is from the fish fix set and he's actually now a bodybuilder so i thought that was actually quite a cool detail and it also has a secret style for you guys to use as well if you guys do have it make sure you guys are putting on this bonus style because honestly it looks super cool you can't get the original one yet which doesn't make any sense but you guys can use the additional style which i'm not quite sure why this works but the glider is really cool 
We all know now Ahsoka Tano is the secret skin for this season which releases on September the 28th, but most people ignored the fact in the trailer she's actually going to be coming out with her very own mythic lightsaber and also force abilities which will be really really cool with a portal opening on the map. This is going to be amazing, but something weird in the trailer, she was actually only holding one lightsaber and in the films she actually does wield two lightsabers, so maybe Fortnite did an oopsie or we will be seeing two lightsabers come out. Hopefully they do change it because it's kind of annoying. But that is everything we have in today's video for you guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Remember, if you guys are new, make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button. This season is absolutely insane. I'm absolutely loving it. Make sure you guys do go and play and check out all of the brand new Mythic weapons as we will be seeing some new ones come out next week. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.